Well, hello there, cuties. It's your pal and host of a comedy advice podcast, Stefan Sitani. I'm here to just give you some intro affection and maybe an intro graze and then maybe a little bit of an intro love so that you can be nice and just so happy when you're in that episode, just deep inside its bowels and you are maybe like Pinocchio when he's inside the whale and he's like, you know what? Things aren't so bad after all. I have a good dad or whatever you have been thinking badly about. Maybe it'll flip that frown upside down. So here I go and just want to tell you what a week I've had. Oh my gosh. I was in the belly of Monstro figuratively because our air conditioner gave out. It gave up and it was like, sorry, toodles. I'm not going to work for you today or the rest of the week. So Sunday was out and I felt like I was in the belly of a beast because it was 104 inside our house. Finally, we gave up and said, we're going to a hotel. It took us a couple air conditioner guys, couple and an electrician to come in and finally figure it out. And I think the electrician was more surprised than I was when he ended up fixing it. But it's fixed. Praise Allah. And now I'm back here in the studio giving you this love and going to tell you about the episode itself. We've got Lamar Mitchell Jr. and Jasmine Jackson, two fabulous comedians, hilarious people. And they have a really good, successful show called Shoot Your Shot. And it's at the House of Comedy every month. And guess what? When we recorded this episode, I had not attended a show and I have been a part of two of those shows. And it was fantastic. The first I was a guest host and as, alongside Jasmine. And uh, the next time I was a guest and I talked about being a sugar boy, sugar, having a sugar daddy, you get it. But it was awesome. These two are like comedy angels to me. And I'm so grateful to have met them because they're such good people. They're so funny. And they were very supportive of me and have helped me out and, and helped me just stroke ever so gently my ego and you know, get those laughs and get that high and that craving for more. So I definitely want to do more. And you guys should definitely go to the show. Link will be in the show notes for that. Also follow them, show them some love. Just hit their DMs up. Shoot your shot yourself if you want to. Just be like, pew, pew, pew. hey, great pod. Love you guys. Something like that. And if you want to, if you haven't yet, if you're a first timer or a timer that just hasn't subscribed, left a review, or follow me on Instagram. Do all that stuff now, please. Por favor. Please, oh, as they say in Italian. Please, oh. Um, and that's all, guys. You guys are treats. You guys are gems. You guys are archaeological digs because I didn't see you at first. But as I kept digging, I would see you guys in the comments and, I, you know, blowing up my shit and being like, hey, great stuff, Steph. And I'm like, hey, thank you, John. You're a gem. So thank you guys. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. And I'm about to go on a journey for my birthday. We're going to go into a stargazing transparent dome. And so I'll let you guys know how that is in the next episode. But uh, also next week, this is, by the way, 33 years old, I will be, I will be Jesus aged and I have Jesus hair. So, I mean, if the sandal fits, I might be Jesus, but you know, maybe not. I can't work miracles just yet, but you know what? I will be working some giggles at JP's comedy club this week, June 24th of the 26th. I'll be doing five shows hosting there being the, the, uh, what do you call it? The host, the MC, the master of ceremonies. So I will be making sure people have a great time. And if you want to show up, link will be in the show notes. You guys are awesome. Keep spreading the love, keep spreading the cheer, keep being jolly, and enjoy the show. Woo! Okay. okay, there we go. There we go. Oh, dude. Nice. Nice. And I got pandas. Dude, you have those are some pretty fucking aggressive pandas. They've got pistols. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a real freaky ass type room. We are in uh basically a college dorm room. <laughs> Uh, oh my god uh, uh, yeah pretty artsy pretty artsy that is incredible i thought it was like a 12 year old's room and i was like damn 12 year olds have really changed their taste <laughs> but college i think that fits in more that's beautiful did you count the pandas yet how many pandas are there if i get some shrooms i will i will okay <laughs> you know we'll all take a guess and at the end of the show whoever gets it right wins 
a there panda. we go. I don't have one. But hey, one, the of the, <laughs> yeah. one of the pandas is unlike the other. You have to guess which one it is. <laughs> like the third one best? from the left. Oh, okay. always the third okay. one from the left. It's like where's Waldo, except panda style. Okay, <laughs> I get this. This is beautiful. Wow, man. What a weird choice for a college dorm room. And you're going to be out of the room in like a year, too. Why, know, right? why would you go through the trouble of plastering multiple, an army of pandas? And then you're just like, you know what? Sophomore year, bro, I'm out moving into house. Yeah. You want to know why? Because it's, it's that year. For that year, they want to have pictures. They want to have decorations. They're going to live in it for a year. Let them live, okay? Mm -hmm. Let them live. I'm, I'm thinking, I know, you know, Jasmine, you're right. And I'm thinking more of long-term and you're thinking, let's just live in the moment. And yes, I'm like, like well, why you know, not? Like, let's just. I'm thinking <laughs> years from now, their wedding day, they're going to show the pictures with the little carousel of photos or the montage. And then there's going to be the pandas exactly. in the background. The exactly. parents of the bride are going to be like, what is going on here? You cannot marry him. He's got panda <laughs> yeah, pandas on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And are those pistols? So are those you know, <laughs> gun waving pandas? They're supposed to be a peaceful people. <laughs> <laughs> peaceful pandas. Oh um, man, ooh, that is actually a really good name for like a like a clothing line. A peaceful panda, and it'll be a panda holding pistols. Oh man, take a picture of know, that, screenshot that, and send it to me. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and and then they shoot out the, instead of the gun that shoots out bullets it's the little yes. stick with the flag and then it says yes. love yes love there you go yes okay no one take my idea that's my shit Dang, dang. <laughs> oh my it's god so well guys i am about to shoot some love <laughs> across all the screen and to all the listeners because we are about to start the show <laughs> welcome everybody to a comedy <laughs> advice podcast my name is Stefan, and i'm your host joining me today two very special guest the panda packed screen is lamar mitchell jr and we've also got outside on the porch chilling jasmine jackson woo, woo, woo. welcome everybody hi hey. thank you for having us oh thank, you, thank you so much for being here i don't know if i rolled into the intro too hot but you know what i was feeling <laughs> it all that panda talk that pandemonium just got me pumped and I pandemonium <laughs> i love it <laughs> <laughs> Panda punk. and i i'm just so jazzed to be able to have you guys on now i first i oh yes more than jazz i am multi-genre i'm like country rocked jazzed hip-hop uh maybe not reggae but you know what we'll get there as the episode no continues to transpire you know what now that i'm regretting it now that you spoke i feel a little <laughs> bit more upbeat so i'm feeling that too maybe just not pop or pop punk heavy metal definitely out but um who knows this might be a headbanger anyway guys pleasure to, <laughs> <laughs> pleasure to have you lamar i i first i think i had seen both of you guys through the grams of insta and so i'd seen pictures gave you some hearts maybe some other organs i'm not sure but lamar i got to see you at the house of comedy perform and let me tell you what a treat that was and oh, uh appreciate it yeah man you were great and i can't remember who you were hosting for it may have been jamie lisso nope. does that does that uh, sound was it a weekend show it was okay um recently uh, trevor wallace uh adam hunter i think i opened for uh paul favar uh, okay, we get it, bro. You're you're really good. Yeah, really right. Funny. Dropping all the names. Gosh. Wow, man, I'm, I've got <laughs> yes holes in the floor from all these names you've dropped. This is amazing. <laughs> no, no, I got to drop my. <laughs> my <laughs> oh, but you know what? With the set that I listened to, definitely worthy of all those names that were dropped. And I wanted to ask, dude, because I don't know how many years you've been in this old business of comedy. When did you start it up? Um, I started in 2014 in uh, April, actually, uh, 2014. So I'm on my seventh year of comedy, uh, just enjoying it, you know, and doing do, do, doing different things and, you know, just trying to do more things. That's incredible. And I wanted to ask, was it always in Phoenix or did you no, move I was to here. Phoenix? Okay. I was here. Yeah, I started out here. Yeah. In Denver? 
in no in the Phoenix, Arizona. It, oh, okay, in a room full of pandas is when you started. Is your <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, that that's awesome. And then I I you and Jasmine came on because I was uh, interested in the shoot your shot show that you guys have been doing for a little bit at the House of Comedy. Jasmine, switching over to you. I feel like a news anchor right now. What's the weather like out there, Jasmine? <laughs> By the way, it, Jasmine, is that what, what you like to be called? Do you like jazzy? Because I saw on your Insta handle that you're jazzy. I mean, yeah, it's both like Jasmine, Jasmine. I feel like as I turned 30, I was like, I should probably go by my actual name and stop using nicknames. <laughs> like I'm an adult now. <laughs> like, jazzy doesn't really work anymore. Like Jasmine. But Jasmine sounds like a child too. So I, I don't... I don't know. <laughs> At this Dude, point. Jasmine is the best name. I remember Aladdin was my favorite movie. And I used to, I had a little crushy poo on, on Jasmine. And so. Listen, out of the original like princesses, she's the only one. Like she was like the first one that was a, like, she was already a princess. She didn't, she didn't marry into princessism. <laughs> is that a word? Princessism. <laughs> That's right. Yes. She was a, she's a real yes. princess. <laughs> like, so <laughs> bow down. <laughs> okay. Oh man. That's that, that is pretty amazing. And how long have you been in comedy for? Did you also start at the same time as Lamar or was it? Um later? mine's probably like a little bit of a longer story. I started Ooh. in like 2011, 2012, maybe. Um, I did it for like two years, maybe off and on, and then I completely quit comedy for like five years. <laughs> Dang. Like I wasn't doing anything. I just fell off the face of the earth. And then um, I came back like what two, well, I guess, I guess three years now um, I came back and started doing it. But do we count the COVID year as a real year? <laughs> because I feel like that just messes up all time. I, I agree <laughs> like, with you. <laughs> yeah. COVID year should Like, I don't know. It was, it was either two or three years ago. I came back. Nice. And I've been bullshitting ever since. <laughs> like, oh, nice. And how, so how, how did back, you but... guys, oh, sorry. How did you guys hook up and start doing the shoot your shot show? And, and what is the shoot your shot show for all the listeners that are like, hmm, shooting and shots. What's this all about? That's what you said. <laughs> well, um, would you want to go ahead? Young lady. I'm actually trying to remember. I don't know for sure how it, I exactly met you. I feel like it was just through like mics yeah we met through through mics um most definitely and then um uh, as far as the shoot your shot show and how we kind of hooked up to do our thing um yeah. we we took a road trip and oh, we a road trip in la and for a show that i was doing <laughs> She motivated me to do the show because I wasn't going to do it. She's like, oh, no, I'm going to be at <laughs> no, your house. No, listen, I made him go to this show in L.A. <laughs> like, he was not trying to go. I was like, you already told me that you tried, were trying to go. I was like, number one, I requested the day off on Monday. <laughs> if you work in a corporate world, like, and you have PTO and you mm. get that day off, like, I was like, no, 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 we're going. <laughs> like, we are going. Um, so, yeah, right. We did. We drove to, down to L.A., no plans like we didn't have a place to stay <laughs> like we didn't have we were just like Whoa. oh we'll figure it out when we get there <laughs> like, it living was, on a prayer yes you know, it was a hot mess that's but, how um, you end up in a room with pandas on it so exactly, I, for real, <laughs> exactly. For real. no planda you get the panda that's what they say i think that was uh... <laughs> i think i think that's a thing yeah. <laughs> that people say so wait no what, yeah what is... it was yeah, it was great. You know, we so you know the drive to California it's a, or to LA, it's a few hours. So you know, we really got to know each other. You know, we had good conversations, and we were kind of just picking each other's brains and stuff. And we basically had the same idea and kind of molded the show together. Mm. Um, and then on the way back, we were like, "Hey, okay, like seriously, like let's, yep. let's get it started. Let's do it." Yeah. Oh, then, man. yeah, House of Comedy came into play, and we were able to uh, put it on there. So the yeah. rest is with that. <laughs> that that is super cool and um so shoot your shot that's kind of like a dating show where you bring on guests and talk about dating and and different stories like that well we do it in two different ways we do it podcast style because we wanted to eventually start a podcast um based on that kind of theme um and then we do it where we have um 
we invite a, a comedian. Oh no, mm -hmm. three comedians and then a regular person, civilian. And the civilian would ask the comedians crazy dating questions. And of course, you know, comedian, you have a crazy response. So whoever had the funniest response would get a, a, a set at the end of the show. So, yeah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. And I know that, that I was going to be one of those people. I don't know, a ch chameleon, a comedian civilian. <laughs> But with the different format that was going to be on, it was St. Patrick's Day. So it ended up getting rescheduled. But do you guys have another one on the books or is it still? Yeah, in the works? I do. Um, we just got word yesterday. <laughs> just yesterday. What is it? May 12th? May 12th. Uh, yeah, 12th. Oh, so. nice. Yeah, I was going to nice. reach out to everybody that I originally booked for it and uh, see who's available for it. Oh, nice. Yeah. Well, well And it's done. great. The, um, I will say this, the podcast style um, that we do, it's just, we usually just bring up comedians and we'll give them like a random topic. We, we try to give it to them not too far in advance, you know, that way it's a little bit more off the top. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, yeah, well, what was one of the, the, uh, one of the crazy ones that we had? I think it was like, what's your body count? That's my, yeah. Favorite. Like what's your body count? Oh, <laughs> what, what could you buy with your body count? Yeah. <laughs> oh man, I love right. it. It's great. Buy. People are like, um, yeah, can you buy a Lamborghini <laughs> or like something off the dollar menu? Like, what's going on? Like, what's the spectrum Good. here? And so yeah, yeah, we'll have comedians, they'll do some time on, you know, whatever the topic is, and we kind of interject a little bit. And it's a it's a I mean, I I love the concepts. <laughs> yeah. That, I think that. It's super cool that you guys are able to do that. And then also just switch it around with different formats. It's, I think it goes to show the talent. Oh, goodbye, Jasmine. I think she left or- No, I'm still here. People oh, follow me. hello, Jasmine. Um, but um, yeah, it's, here, sorry. it just goes to show your guys is being able to command the room and, and the people and everything. So I think that's really awesome. And I can't wait, whether it's attend or be a part of, that show because it sounds like an absolute blast yes yeah, it's, it's a lot of fun um you know we get to be off top we get to be our ourselves and I, I think we got pretty good chemistry that we're comfortable enough to kind of you know jab at each other or you know what I mean she says stuff to me and uh you know I don't appreciate but no it's cool you know? <laughs> I am I'm a bully I'm sorry I'll say it I'm a bully like <laughs> yeah, fine. Oh. I'm sorry oh. Lamar <laughs> Dude, I'm still hurt. No, I, I get it, man. Lamar, I was calling you to join because she was like, "When are we going to start this? Can we start this? Can we just hurry up? What the heck? Can we go without Lamar?" And I was like, oh. "Are you lying on me right now? <laughs> like I was bullying you?" <laughs> no, I'm I'm just kidding. She was she was sweet as pie, and uh, I was even very comp patient. Complimented my little uh, what was it a Samantha bun? Your your Sam Sam. It's, Sam it's my bun. Sam bun, okay. It's <laughs> Sam bun. <laughs> ma'am, it's ma'am. Uh, I'm even trying to laugh a more baritone. Ha ha ha. Uh, so, God, well, I am pleased as punch to have you both, and I also we're gonna get into the comedy advice portion with some advice, answering some questions and some other fun segments in between before and as we get started into it i like to get us nice and centered with an inspirational quote so before i dive in to my reservoir and get my re inspirational quote i like to ask my guests if they have any inspirational quotes that really just resonate with them they say it as their mantra as they have those dark days or those days that they're just not feeling motivated and so i'll just keep talking a little bit more for you to kind of dig one out but I'll start with, let's go counterclockwise and choose, that's me. Uh, Lamar, do you have any inspirational quotes that help? And if you don't, that's okay. I will just block you from the show immediately. That's fine. No, I'm kidding. Ah, jokes. But if you've got any bonus points, I think you might be the favorite. Here we go. Today only happens once. So make it count. <laughs> oh, in well that was good that was really good was is that a lamar original or is that Leviticus? uh you know I, I put a little tweak on it you know what i mean a little flavor on it but you know i heard it from somebody 
Mm. <laughs> so that's where that's where the cumin comes from. I was like, mm, tasty, tasty quote. Delicious. <laughs> oh, well, very motivational. I love it. Jasmine, do you have any motivational quotes? If you don't, that's really disappointing because I bought you a lot of time. But if you oh, my <laughs> no, like I'm not like a quote person. Um, I can quote, uh, I guess, one of my favorite songs. Um, uh, Girl, you look good. Won't you back that ass up? <laughs> you a big fine woman won't you back that ass up i think that that right there if everyone i actually have it as my alarm in the morning um by really? the poet uh juvenile <laughs> <laughs> yes. <It's, laughs> you may you may not have heard of mine is, i feel like yours was better than mine <laughs> oh man <laughs> it's very the beat is by itself like i told my friends like at my funeral lower me down to back that ass up like i want bitches perking over my casket <laughs> like, you know geez. i i want the same thing i'll go ass up too so that right. the ass will be <laughs> but, backed yeah. up at the viewing i think that would be phenomenal well what uh what a beautiful juicy quote to um just chew on for a little bit that's wonderful <laughs> I've actually, so I've got a quote too. Thank you guys for sharing. I really appreciate that. This one is actually not by any person whatsoever. It's by a robot. And the robot's name is Inspirobot. And what's its main purpose? To be able to use AI to take some of the wisest words known to man or hip hop artist and just mash them together for a beautiful inspirational quote. So okay. I will read this. I will read this and you let me know what it means to you. Inspirobot this week says there is no i in sexual experience that, that's it well, there's no there's nothing more <laughs> i had to think of it i was like sexual experience experience <laughs> he's it, it actually spells experience with a y <laughs> <laughs> you know i love it i think that's I actually think good it, though I like, mm. yeah i like it, to it put is... me in a lot of sexual experiences <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. that's beautiful you know I, I i like how inspirebot is thinking about those who are just not pleased in those experiences and i'm um, just looking out to make sure that everybody's having a good time i like yeah. how it's uh it's backing that ass up that artificial intelligence ass up. So that's beautiful. All right. Now that we're nice and inspired, we're going to go into some questions that some fans have sent in from the Reddit advice column. This first one is by our fan, Jess. Thank you, Jess. It says, <clears throat> how do I approach asking for what I'm worth? I have worked for this company for over five years and have barely made a dollar raise. Today, I found out my coworker makes $2 more than I do. I am also one of the two top producers. I've approached my boss about a month ago when the annual raises are shelled out and said, I need to make more. I might need to think about going back to school so I can move up. He gave me the whole speech about how I save money because I work from home, don't have to buy business casual attire, save on gas money, et cetera. And then I should be happy with what I'm making. How do I demand to be paid what I'm worth? Any advice is much appreciated. Sincerely, raising hell. I would have, I would have to say, what, what, what's this person's name again? Oh, Jess sent it in. Jess. Yes. Okay. Short for Jessica. I didn't ask, but I will next time. Probably. Pro okay. We, if we gonna maybe go with Jessifer. We don't know. If it's, <laughs> if, if, if it's just if it's Jessica, she needs to change her name to Mark and demand it with a more authoritative. <laughs> Because unfortunately in America, uh, you know, they tend to pay Jessica's a little bit less. I'm not saying, you know what I mean, women just. I, I know exactly what you mean. And I am so sorry that I got way hung up on the Jess thing because I know you were trying to get to that point. And I was like, well, I don't know. It might be Jessifer or something. Maybe it's Jess, Jess. I don't know. So I apologize for that because that was a really good. Uh, Really good point that you were making. And yeah, I will yeah. slide right out of it. Jasmine, J J 
Jazz for jazz for short. <laughs> jazz, it's yeah, jazz for for short. Yeah. Um, that's actually tough. I feel like that's something that a lot of people have to deal with nowadays. Like where you're working just enough, you know, not to quit. So you know what? How about this? Work just enough not to get fired. <laughs> like, know your worth. Know your worth. Like, <laughs> if she's a top performer and she's not getting paid as a top performer, and yeah you know, they're not going to increase her pay. Like, all right. <laughs> she might have to start looking for a second job. <laughs> it, exactly. Exactly. I think, you know, right now she's a top, but I think she has to be more of like a power bottom where she's not really performing at the top, but she's also good enough that they can't get rid of her. So I feel like right. if she just stays in that zone. Then maybe she said she wanted to go to school or something. Just go to online school while you're doing your work while you're at work just pop open i don't know get a subscription to Masterclass. have samuel L. jackson teach you how to do acting anything right. i feel like this is your chance to spread those corporate wings and and climb up those rungs in the ladder you know just give them an ultimatum like you pay me more or i'm gonna quit but you have to, it's like a relationship like you have to be ready to actually quit and have a backup mm. like hey listen if you don't pay me this, I'm going to leave. Like she should threaten them with like, you know, just like threaten them with like another job opportunity. <laughs> Say that someone else has scouted you. I love it. I, love I don't know. It. Price I matching like Walmart. <laughs> like listen, they're willing to pay me this. So <laughs> if you don't pay me this, I'm going to go elsewhere. But you have to be willing to leave because you're going to look like an idiot <laughs> if they're like, okay, bye. <laughs> oh, God. Yes, very true. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and I, I totally agree with that. Lamar, were you going to say something? Did I interrupt you? Uh, I agree with her. I agree with her. I, I like the fact that she said that, you know, if they're not paying you what you you want, then you start giving them that, you know, you know your, your worth. So I think that if you give them less or if they're paying you, say, let's say $20 an hour, right? And you say you want $25, give them $20 an hour work. And if they want to pay you more, then you give them more. You know? Oh God. That's what I do. I like Yeah. I'm not... that, that's what I tell my boss. You see this report? This is $20 an hour work. If you want 25, you got to raise that price because I'm not going to give you the FDA approved organic cage free QBR beef. Yeah, exactly. Guys. And she says she's working from home, right? Yeah. Okay. So like, if you want to like know your worth or get to know your worth, like start using some of that time, like do some laundry, like <laughs> run some errands during the day, log off for a couple hours. <laughs> like, okay. There you go. There you go. Milk them. <laughs> Mel, Mel, suck those udders dry. I feel it's just get it, get it. All right. This is terrible <laughs> advice. <laughs> I need to have a disclaimer to make us not liable. But yes, this right. guys, you should not listen to this advice <laughs> unless it, unless we're really speaking to you. You know, there is no I in sexual experience and know your worth. I think are the real takeaways from this podcast. And don't plaster your wallpaper with pandas on it. I think of the three you got to have the real three. <laughs> with peaceful pandas. <laughs> yes. Peace. Oh yeah, peaceful pandas. Oh man, new clothing line coming out. Terrific. Uh, we're not trying to panda pander to you, but last question, and then we're gonna say that sweet, sweet goodbye to each other. <laughs> this one sent in from Fan Dustin. Thank you, Dustin. It said, "What's the first place I should punch someone in a fight? I'm probably gonna win without the help of Reddit because I'm way bigger, but advice would be appreciated." So I've never been in a fight before. I'm going to admit it. I know you're surprised with my Samantha bun. You think, wow, what? this guy really gets in a scuff or two, but no fights just with words. And, uh, <laughs> and that's it. But Lamar or Jasmine, have either of you been in a fight before? Do you know where to punch? Do you know the, the spot? <laughs> been in multiple fights. Uh, <laughs> been in several uh but I think punching somebody in the neck is like like stellar. Like his it's great <laughs> contact right there. You know what I mean? Like a straight hook to the neck, you know, or a chop in the throat. 
Oh, you know what I mean? I'm God, dude. I do, <laughs> I do know what you mean. And I know every movie I see somebody get punched in the throat, they look like a total dork afterwards because they're like, <gasps> so, I, and I also, I have the longest neck. I think my dad was half Brachiosaurus because it is just easy target for anybody. And I'm tall. So I think a punch to the neck would just take me down and I'd look like a total idiot. So yeah. I, a hundred points to you, Lamar. That's great. Ja- Jasmine. Do- <laughs> Go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's fine. Like I'm laughing because my sense of humor is just so dark sometimes. Like I go so dark and I don't want to say what my initial <laughs> thought was. I was going to, what I was going to say was please. he should punch 911 at his phone. <laughs> <laughs> <Call the police. laughs> because if he's asking, like, <laughs> he probably can't fight. <laughs> he's like... <laughs> Wherever your wherever your fist lands, I feel like is the first one. I've been, I've been in plenty of fights, and I usually just go for whatever is closest. <laughs> like, <laughs> oh my god, that is that is both great answers. Hundred points for you as well. You guys just equally wise and and wonderful. I, I think I agree. I mean, there's no I in fights. It's a we thing. So I feel like you really need to talk it out. Maybe is this necessary? Try and <laughs> there's no out of it. There's no I in fight or experience. Apparently. <laughs> 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 like, what did we learn today? <laughs> we, we can't learned, spell. <laughs> yeah, Stefan is illiterate. That's right. Okay. Uh, but I I think we really went out swinging because now it's the end of the podcast. This is where we say our goodbyes and uh, cover each other in hugs and smooches. But first, guys, thank you so much. Lamar and Jasmine for joining this podcast. I appreciate you guys very much. Man, Thank I you for having us. <laughs> oh, a, a true blessing. And I wanted to ask, and I'll start with, <laughs> I'll start with, uh, there was some, there was some delays, but ja- Jasmine, I'll start with you. What have you got to plug? Where can people follow you? Um, the good uh, promo that shit. Um, wow, I'm I'm so terrible at this. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Miss Oso Jazzy. That's M I S S. There's an I in there. O H S O J A Z Z Y. Um, that's like the only thing that I'm really on. <laughs> I can say. Um, we do have our shoot your shot show at the House of Comedy, uh, May twelfth. I do believe um, it's going to be a great show. It's always fun. There's always something crazy that happens. So come and check us out. Oh, wonderful. Awesome. And then Lamar, what have you got to plug? Where can people follow you? All that good stuff. Um, you can follow me on Instagram at J underscore ridiculous eight uh, zero. Of course, on Facebook at Lamar Mitchell, Jr. Uh, I have, of course, the show with Jasmine at uh, Shoot Your Shot. Make sure you get out there May 12th. Um, I also do a monthly show um, at Stir Crazy Comedy Club the first Wednesday of the month called The Open Mic. Uh, and yeah, yeah, just just, just get it. <laughs> nice, nice. And guys, you know what? If you can't read just like me, it's going to be in the show notes. So you can just click on those links and it'll lead you right there. So you can just go follow, support, buy tickets, whatever you want to do. All right, well... This was amazing. Thank you guys so much. And uh, we'll talk and we'll talk at you next week. And listeners, oh, you little cherubs. Thank you guys so much for being there. Did, almost forgot you were here. Thank you guys so much. And we will talk at you next week. Bye-bye. Peace. Ooh, and that's the episode. Splendid, wasn't it? Just amazing. A plus. But you guys, thank you so much for listening all the way through. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe, leave a review, follow on Instagram, support Jasmine and Lamar, follow them on Instagram, go see their show, see them live at the House of Comedy. And have a good day for me, okay? Think of me, have my voice in your head being like, it's time to be jolly. That's not my voice, so I should do it in my own voice, right? It's time to be jolly. It just doesn't sound the same. Well, whatever, just be jolly, okay? And have a lovely day or night or week or life. Have a lovely life. It sounds like I'm telling you off, but I'm not. I just want you to keep, keep loving life just like me. Oh man. Well, 
express Steph here because I got to go. But love you guys. Gooch, smooch. Bye-bye.